fromage fry. It's time to compare some Greggs to Iceland. And we have got some cheese and onion bakes. And these are actually both from Iceland. Now, oh, that does. So I was then going to ask the question, are Greg's products exclusive to Iceland? There's your answer. Yes, they are. Look at that. Right, now... So these were pretty much side by side in the freezers. Quite a bit of a difference in price though. And I thought, I wonder if the quality is that far apart as well. We need to find out. Right, so we have got Greg's Cheese and Onion Bakes. A two pack, a classic combination of cheese and onion, tangy, tasty and all wrapped in crisp, flaky, golden puff pastry. Now, I'm not going to read out all the gump from that, so have a look at that. The camera's pretty good if I let it focus in. You need to have a look, see what allergens are, have a zoom in. Uh, what else have we got? Have a look at that as well. Right. Now this one, what have we got here? Is there any gump on this? No. Nothing. No explanation of what it is. Although I suppose the title of the box tell you everything you need to know. Two cheese and onion bakes. No. I knew. Surely not. Right. There's your ingredients on that one. Uh, where's the nutritionals then? There's the nutritionals. Right, there we are. Right, so, weight. We have got 280 grams on the Iceland one. So you'd expect a lot more if you're going to be paying a lot more. Although you don't know how much that is yet. Uh, how much we got on this one? 280 for that one. 288 for this one. Literally the same weight. How much then? Well, if I tell you this one is just one pound. One pound, that's all it is. How much do you reckon for this one? You better sit down. Three pound! Three pound! What? Three pound. But if you buy four of them, you can get them on a multi uh, buy deal. Four for ten pound, which make them two pound fifty then a box. That's a lot of money compared to this. Is this three times better than this? Huh? I doubt it. Right, let's open them up and have a look. Now I've got a Make sure I don't mix these up. So I'm hoping they're going to have a different like look about them. Right, there's your Iceland one. That's got quite an orange coating on that. I didn't look to see what the old cooking times are before I go pulling that out. So this is 200 degrees, 28 minutes. 
What's this one? Let's just put that on there for a minute. Oh, ah. Uh, 200 degrees, 25 to 27 minutes. So it's pretty much the same. Right. Well, how much difference are they going to be? Well, straight off, you do, you would say this is different league straight away. Different league. It seems to be, the pastry seems to be much better presented, thicker. And you've got a nice big hump there compared to this one but that the filling of that one goes much closer to the edges than that one I think I should yeah I should be able to remember which is which I think that's going to be obvious really, isn't it? I would hope, even after the cooking. But I will remember which side I put the, Gre the Greg's one. Right. So, I think it's time to fire up the oven and get some cheese and onion bakes on the plate. Right, guys, here it is. Here are the cheese and onion bakes. So that's your Greg's one, that's your Iceland one. So they're a similar size, I mean they're obviously puffed up so you can't really tell. But I think that one looked like it had more filling in it. Although they should be similar, because they're similar, should be similar weight. So let's actually see if I can... Yeah, there's no... There's no obvious difference in weight. Right. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to slice them in half and we'll have a good look inside. Now they've been out of the oven probably about five minutes. Cool. Actually, I don't know what will contaminate, do I? I've got another knife here. Cool, a lot of air in this one. Right. So there is your Greg's effort. They definitely look more filling in that. So I don't know how on earth the weights can be similar. Right, now, I do normally like this sort of thing cold. So, but I'm going to eat them up. Here we go. We'll try the Greg's one first. Yeah, that's good. Mmm. Cool, oh, yeah. Lots of flavour in that. Cool. Oh, it's hot. Crikey. Right, okay. That's good. But that's what you'd expect. You're paying 150 each for them. Frozen, and you've got to cook them yourself. Now, these, 50p each. What are these got to taste like? I have to say, that filling does not look very... Just look like a, a cheese sauce in there. Don't look like much onion or anything. Anyway, let's try it. Mm. 
Not a lot of flavour in that. There is a very clear difference in quality of the products. They are different leagues apart. Right, okay. Right, so these comparison videos, I pretty much just pick which one I would pick over the other when you consider taste, quality and value value for money now obviously the Greg's one is by far the better product it's a million miles ahead of this one um, they're just nothing alike they're totally different products that one's got way more flavor everything about it is better but that's three pound for two this one is one pound for two. Oi, right, Ebo. Now, normally, when you get a match up like this, I do normally tend to go with the cheaper one because quite often when you're hungry, I'm quite happy to take a bit of a drop in the quality of food and go for quantity. But I think in this, excuse me, I think in this case, the quality, the difference in quality between the two products is so big, I would go for the Greg's one, I think. I think I would. So there we are. So score-wise, if I was to score these, <coughs> I would buy that again for a pound. Again, if you're just hungry, you just want something to munch on. A pound for two of them is well worth the money. It has got taste. It's just nowhere near as tasty as that one. Give that one an eight. I think the cost of this one, if this was like two pound for a box, that would be get that getting up to a nine, probably touching the nines. But because it is quite pricey, 8.5. So there we are, guys. Have you tried these products? What do you think? Please get in the comments. Let me know. Right, before I go, I'm just going to do a quick heads up on another review. I'm about to film, actually, because I'm going to use these to film it. I've got some sweet and smoky ketchup sauce. Side, made by sides. Now, there's a bit of a story where these, who supply these, and I'm not sure if this is a new product or not. Um, but I'll explain all that in the review. So if you want to catch that, see what this is all about, I will put this one out as the next video following this one. Right, there we are, guys. That is another comparison review. Thanks for watching, and I hope you join me and this one here, Bobo the Custard Kid, again soon on another video. Take care, guys. Right, here we go, Bobo. Now, this Bob will be out of Bobbles! No, he's oblivious. Bob! Oh, here he come. He's off. <laughs> he heard that one, Bob. Right, there you are, my man. Take that, and then you can stay down again. That's it, good boy. Hang on, Boo Boo, you nearly missed out on one there. Good boy. Bonjour, guys. <laughs>